Hi, I'm Chris from Tom's Outdoors. This is my Two Minute Tuesday. I want to have a very quick chat to you today about the Nordic Pocket Saw. Now, we first got this at Christmas, sold through really quick, they're super popular. I finally got some more back in stock, so I get a chance to have a Two Minute Tuesday on it. I managed to grab one for myself. Now, traditionally, I don't like pocket saws. Um, they don't tend to work real well, the teeth have been pretty terrible, all that sort of stuff. These guys have really fixed most of the problems with that and have produced a really high quality pocket saw. Okay. Now they've won a couple of awards for it. Outdoor Industry, the German Trade Awards Award, they've won a Scandinavian Outdoor Show Award as well. Um, super great product. Now they're nice and light, so it's only 132 grams. So if you're thinking of carrying like a pocket folding saw um, instead, this thing is far more practical. Now, it comes in a nice little package like that. Um, obviously once you open the box. Now, the key thing that separates this to a lot of other pocket saws is, yes, it's chainsaw teeth all the way along, um, but they alternate in both directions. So you actually get a cut when you pull each direction and there's a tooth every single chain link, okay? That's something that we don't see on a lot of other pocket saws. Typically what we see is one uh, saw tooth um, and then a whole bunch of blank links. Now the problem with that is if you're sawing some, some hard timber, especially some of this Australian hardwood, what it means is that you gotta have a massive set of shoulders on you to drive the chain. Now I've been told that the general rule of thumb for band saws and stuff like that is you've gotta have three teeth in contact with anything that you're cutting. Now if you've got a whole bunch of big gaps along the way, it's not gonna be in contact. Fine if it's on a chainsaw which is spinning at a couple of hundred RPM, but if you're powering it by hand, you just can't do it. So having teeth alternating all the way down the chain is really, really good. So hats off to these guys, works really well. Now, um, as an example, just here, I have a piece of Trident maple that's come from a garden. We've had this on display in, in store. Now you can see how clean a cut this thing makes as well. Super clean, basically just takes little chunks off all the way through. Now I can't do the demo right now because I need someone to hold it and I need to power the chainsaw at the same time. Just not possible. Anyway, right, Nordic Pocket Saw, super great. Um, alternating chain, you could take it down to your local chainsaw go and get them to sharpen it afterwards or you could do it yourself with a file so long as you know what you're doing. Um, I think it's a piece of kit that really should be in your pack. Um, it's found its way into mine. Got any questions as usual, give us a call, email, um, respond on Facebook or YouTube or however you're watching this.